Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll have a first look at this Moto 360 and uh, I actually also own the first generation of the Moto 360 as, as you can see this is working uh, so we'll be comparing uh, these ones and as you can see this is not an unboxing because as you can see I've already started using this watch uh, I've used it for a day or so and now this Moto 360 second generation actually comes in uh, two models uh, regarding the size the old uh, Moto 360 uh, used to come only in one dial size that is 46 mm but now this new one this is the new size that is the 42 mm and strangely in india uh, this product is again sold in india only via uh, what do you say flipkart and only the 42 mm is available as of now and not the 46 mm variant uh, so this is the watch and uh, we also get a charging cradle and a cable to charge it this is the dock you just place it on this dock and it starts charging uh, so it's wireless charging just like the first generation and in fact uh, i tried to charge it with the dock that i had with the first generation and it charged fine uh, so again in terms of looks as you can see both uh, because of the size they look a little bit different uh, this is the 46 mm and uh, this is the uh, what do you say uh, new 42 mm and one uh, another thing that i have noticed apart from the size is that notice how dull is the ambient display on this one and uh, the ambient display is actually much brighter on this new one uh, this is also visible this is the ambient display but it's hardly visible so uh, i feel uh, even just after about a day of usage this is a lot practical and this ambient display on this new moto 360 just stays on like this all the time uh, you can obviously wake it up and this is the full display that you get and you can change the watch faces and stuff it's the same android wear on both of them uh, but again the always on ambient display uh, is a great improvement in my opinion uh, the ambient display always on i have also set it on this one but it just fades away and this is the ambient display it's hardly visible as you can see it's good for nothing uh, another thing that i have noticed is the placement of the buttons let me actually zoom in a little bit to show you uh, the placements of the buttons have changed a little bit here on the older one it was here in the middle uh, but on the new one it's here at the uh, top and uh, i don't know of uh, the new one actually looks a little bit sleeker i would say uh, also one thing that i have noticed is that uh, it's too early to comment on the battery life i was never happy with the battery life of the older moto 360 and if you've been following me on twitter i always say the battery life sucks on this one because it couldn't even last me for about 15 odd hours but strangely uh, it seems that the battery life on this new moto 360 uh, is going to be good because it's been 18 hours uh, uh, since i've been off the charger and the battery life now i think so we are at around 45 percent so definitely huge improvement i would say almost 2x the battery life in my initial assessment i would say i'll test the battery life a lot more uh, again as you can see <laughs> My friend is calling i'll just reject that call it's connected to my phone uh, so th the basic thing with this uh, android wear watches is that whatever notifications etc you get uh, you get it on your watch so you don't have to pull out your phone and stuff um, so i like the ambient display and in terms of battery life the battery life seems to be actually very good compared to the old one i would say roughly almost uh, twice uh, as you can see it's just around 45 percent it's been about 18 hours since I've been off the charger so it should last me for about one and a half days also as i've mentioned now this moto 360 comes in uh, different variants in fact the capacity of the battery has changed uh, this is the 42 mm but if you buy the new uh, 46 mm variant it actually has a 400 milliamp hour battery this one the 42 mm has a 300 milliamp hour battery and according to motorola uh, they say that the 46 mm should last for about two odd days and this 42 mm should last for about one and a half days and in my initial testing as i told you i've been using it for a day it should easily last for about one and a half days days uh, another thing uh, that i've noticed is that the replacement of strap is a lot easier on this as you can see uh, it uses the normal uh, straps but here on the older one uh, it's a little bit difficult yes you can change the straps even on this older one but it is a little bit difficult uh, and you don't get a lot of selection but this is just using the regular straps so you can just go to a watch shop and easily replace it the new Moto 360 comes with the Snapdragon 400 chipset, which is a quad-core processor. So here are the watches and uh, let me switch on the regular mode. 
So this is the size difference uh, between the 42 mm and the 46 mm. Uh, regarding the pricing, again, uh, they have bumped up the price with this new version. This uh, 42 mm variant is sold in India via Flipkart for 20,000 with this uh, leather strap. This is genuine leather strap. Uh, there is also a variant with the metallic strap and that starts at 23,000. Uh, so uh, obviously the price has increased uh, quite a bit. Battery life has considerably improved over the first generation uh, simply speaking the battery life on the first generation was simply pathetic and uh, now the ambient mode just makes a lot more sense as you can see it's easily visible so it actually shows the time always so again that's it for now for this uh, uh, quick look at this Modo 360 second generation i hope you found this uh, video helpful thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video